hello everyone in this video we are going to learn how to perform unsupervised classification of Landsat images in ArcMap or ArcGIS here I have some Landsat 9 images of a certain area of Bangladesh now simply I'm going to drag the images to make this images stacked or integrated by using composite bands tool I'm simply dragging the images here okay I've taken the seven bands of Landsat 9 images now simply I will stack them or merge them together with the help of composite bands tool and I will go to the search bar for this and search composite bands okay this will appear and we will simply click on it okay here we have to input the seven vents one by one that we have just dragged earlier after inputting them all simply we will save the output in any of our chosen folder I will simply connect the folder I'll create a different folder for my output files simply I will save it at the composite band image it will actually take some moments so you have to wait for maybe one minute okay you can see that the process is complete and we won't be needing this Lancet images this is our composite image which actually has all the seven bands in it simply I have explained in my previous video that said there are several uh, band combinations by which you can uh, make different kind of visualization here to identify the objects or features of a certain satellite image to visualize it as the natural view we have to go to the properties and simply we have to change the band combinations the default band combination is seen as one two and three in the red green and blue respectively now simply um, I will be changing it to four three two band combination because after changing it to 432 band combination it will actually uh, show us how it looks in natural color so this is the natural color look 
of the certain uh, of the satellite image okay now I have a study area which is maybe located here so I will simply cut off the part of this satellite image or uh, this composite image according to my study area for that I simply have to drag my study, uh, study area the polygon here is it I'm simply dragging and dropping it here okay you can see that this is my study area and I will be I will be performing my unsupervised classification on this certain part of this satellite image that's why I have to cut this satellite image this part of the satellite image with the help of this shape polygon for that I have to go to search and search for extract by mask sorry for the background noises okay we will click on extract by mask and input the raster file or the image of the satellite composite satellite image that we have created and we we want it to uh, we want it to cut it according to the polygon shape that we have just uh, dragged here now simply we will try to save our output simply naming renaming it as study area let's save it the process is going on here after some times it will simply complete it the process of um, and performing unsupervised classification is very easy and simple just we'll just need one click to make it complete okay actually we will need this classification tab for our uh, upcoming steps you can see that the study area from the Landsat satellite image have been cut off or extracted now simply we will perform our unsupervised classification on it and simply uh, we will need this classification your image classification toolbar here if you don't have it simply you can uh, go to customize and from here you can simply drag this image classification tool and it will be shown in here now simply get let's get rid of this we're not gonna need this simply if we zoom on it and now click on ISO cluster and solar classification our classification of the image will be automatically completed the input raster is already here and simply I can select the number of classes from here it will actually specify that in how many classes my image will be automatically classified so I'm simply giving here six and we can actually modify these classes after the um, unsupervised classification task or uh, after this um, 
process we will actually be all, uh, able to uh, modify the number of classes according to our visualization or according to our need okay simply let's save it as unsupervised okay the process is ongoing and simply i would like to say you uh, that supervised classification is where we specify that this uh, certain area of the landsat image in supervised classification we actually specify that this certain uh, whitish areas of the landsat images are the settlement areas and we s we ourselves specify in supervised classification that this uh, dark green areas are forests and uh, so many others like we specify ourselves that this um, dark blue color or uh, blackish uh, color of the image is representing water bodies and we simply take classes according to our choice in but in unsupervised classification simply the this uh, tool or this software rgs performs the classification by itself and uh, where whereas he finds or gets some different uh, pixels with different colors he specifies it as uh, distinct classes like our process of unsupervised classification is already done here and you can see that this whitish color or very white colors um, have been taken as similar kind of uh, features by ArcGIS automatically and you can simply see that a very whitish color uh, have been represented as uh, this this quite uh, dark pink color and uh, less whitish pixels were classified as the uh, dark blue color so I hope you can understand that this classification has been done according to the similarities based on the similarities of the color of the pixels that this software is getting and now we can see that if we change the band combination from here in four three two we will see how will it be looking in the natural view parts eye view and in my earlier video you will uh, get the chart uh, that i shared which actually signifies that uh, which combination band combination will um, visualize which uh, features of the image much more clearly so do watch the previous video of supervised classification okay simply we you can see that uh, these areas are actually representing the settlements or the buildings or the roads this whitish color um, so now we can see that whether it's uh, um, clear white or uh, a little bit ash or silvery color uh, all these are actually representing the uh, settlements that's why we have uh, but as there was a difference between this uh, fully white color and the silver colors the software has taken the settlements as two different classes where it got just a very whitish color at another class and less white colors or this uh, grayish or uh, silvery type colors as other classific uh, other classes but we know that we know that this dark pink color and this uh, blue color will be of the same class that's why simply we are going to merge this classes we'll go to the properties of it and we know that this and this classes are actually representing the same class 
so we are simply going to merge it we will tap on control on our keyboard click on this two and simply right click on it and we will click on group values and the values will be grouped in just one class and simply we can change the color from here let's give it a, give it a very dark red color as it will signify the settlement and we can simply even change the um, label from here and name it as settlement let's apply it and see what happens okay now simply you can see that all the um, all those uh, two classes have been combined into just one class i hope you understand now you can just uncheck on it and see which feature is actually representing uh, which um, uh, land or water body or settlement and you can simply merge it modify it according to your wish uh, let's see like we can see that these are the vegetation uh, areas or um, maybe the greeneries or the agricultural lands you will see that uh, it has also separated this area into um, two different classes like the darker green areas have been classed as uh, this color and the less green areas have been classified as this quite yellow color so simply this color will be representing uh, the green areas or the vegetation cover I can simply change the level from here as well and these colors are maybe representing the agricultural land areas we can give them the color of very light green okay um, now simply you can um, modify your classification as uh, how you according to what you see in the natural color um, natural color view and uh, here you can simply say that by changing this this band combination according to uh, this image you will be able to identify the uh, features of the real world uh, lands very easily and even if you get confused you can check the google earth pro map and and simply you uh, you'll be able to get much more clearer images of which uh, area of the image is representing which land feature You can see that uh, and this this dark colors are actually representing the water bodies which is of very little in here uh, so I will simply change the color of it to light blue or cyan okay this will be now representing the water body and you can simply change it from here okay that was all for today thank you for watching